trail credibility isn't established by badges, stickers, or knobby-looking tire sidewalls when navigating off-road terrain, as evidenced during our uneventful soft-roading experience with the original Honda Passport Trail Sport. Despite its flashy exterior, we found ourselves relying on a temporary spare tire to limp home after a sharp rock punctured an all-season tire. Surprisingly, the Trail Sport triumphed in a three-way comparison against a genuine off-roader Toyota's 4Runner and a newly ruggedized crossover, the Subaru Outback Wilderness. Despite the initial success and reasonable sales, a third of all passports being Trail Sports, Honda has wisely fortified the robust aesthetics with tangible improvements in the 2024 Honda Passport Trail Sport, mainly focusing on all-terrain tires and suspension tuning. The crucial question remains, do these modifications compromise the on-road comfort that contributed to its victory in the 2022 comparison? A notable enhancement involves discarding the Firestone Destination LE2 mud and snow tires, characterized by their tough appearance and all-season treads. The replacement, General Grabber A-T Sport tires in the same 245-60 R18 size, feature a genuine all-terrain tread and come at a similar cost from tire rack. Surprisingly, despite our previous complaints about tire noise with the Firestones, the Generals proved significantly quieter. While they emit a faint hum, it's barely noticeable unless the radio is off, no one is speaking, and the powerful V6 engine is idling. But what about traction? While we'd love to share tales of conquering the most challenging sand and gravel hills at Holly Oaks or Park, our brief loan during a peak holiday shopping week dashed any such aspirations. The new tires boast a tread that's half an inch wider than the previous Firestones, and the slightly increased track width adds to the vehicle's rugged appearance. It's challenging to envision these tires not delivering significantly improved grip in sand and mud compared to any typical all-season tire. However, we anticipate that the taller tread blocks, with wider spacing, might make the tires somewhat more prone to squirm on dry pavement, potentially resulting in a slight decrease in our limit handling numbers. Making another bold prediction, we believe that the majority of buyers, who will spend nearly all their time on pavement, won't perceive any significant compromise in comfort or on-road performance due to the tires or the adjustments in spring and damping rates. In fact, these 18-inch tires likely offer a smoother ride compared to the shorter sidewall tires on other models. Where does the 2024 Passport stand? In Motor Trend's ultimate car rankings for the highly competitive mid-size two-row SUV segment, the 2023 Passport secured the eighth position, trailing behind the Subaru Outback, Hyundai Santa Fe, and Toyota Venza that clinched the podium. This ranking is largely attributed to its class-leading 3.5-liter V6 engine, which earns it the best-in-class performance score, but is unable to offset its third-worst fuel economy score. Only the VW Atlas Cross Sport and the aging Toyota 4Runner fared worse in this regard. We anticipate that the 2024 revisions may not significantly alter its ranking in the segment. How does it stack up against off-road competitors? Implementing a reduction in spring rates by approximately 15% in the front and 10% in the rear, coupled with a switch to a significantly less stiff solid rear anti-roll bar, is expected to enhance articulation. Damping adjustments accompany these modifications to ensure that there's no excessive roll or wallow when driving on pavement. While the Outback Wilderness remains the sole contender in the crossover class aiming for off-road prowess, the Trail Sport's improved torque vectoring traction appears poised to build on the lead established by its 2022 predecessor. However, for those mindful of their budget, the $41,255 Subaru significantly undercuts the $45,875 Trail Sport. Opting for a trail-rated Jeep Grand Cherokee now requires stepping up to the 4XC Trailhawk at a cost of $67,575. Still, we'd bet that a Laredo Altitude 4WD, priced at $46,435, can venture just as far off the road as the Passport, potentially even farther with a tire swap. The Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road starting at $46,195, excels in off-road capabilities, easily outperforming the Honda while retaining a driving experience reflective of its decade-plus-old design. Data Technology Admittedly, the Passport is not at the forefront of technological advancements. Upon entering the vehicle, the screen may seem diminutive by contemporary standards, lacking wireless phone mirroring and relying on a corded USB-A connection, though there is a USB-C port for charging. 
The revamped console now features a wireless phone charging pad capable of securely accommodating larger phones, allowing for convenient screen viewing, with additional space for a second substantial phone. Even the robust V6 powertrain appears somewhat antiquated, and features like the Eco button and Efficiency Coach, a cluster light that glows green or white, serve to slightly dampen throttle response and indicate throttle position. Reminiscent of the vacuum gauges from the Malaise era. In essence, the 2024 Honda Passport stands out as a larger and more robust performer within the competitive landscape of two-row midsize SUVs. It maintains the renowned Honda reliability and resale value while, in its trail sport variant, offers the potential to venture further off-road than many rivals without imposing extra costs for everyday use like carpooling or errand running. With an infusion of modernized technology and, perhaps, a hybrid powertrain, Honda has the potential to secure a prominent spot on our ultimate rankings podium for the Passport. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.